Once upon a time, there was a happy family. They lived on a lake shore. Their cottage was surrounded by a fabulous garden. One day the father and son sailed out onto the lake. Little did they notice that a storm was coming. It started unexpectedly and they were swallowed by the lake. The mother had stayed at home, but in her heart she was with her family. Standing at the shore looking over the lake, she waited for a long time. She's still waiting. People began to gossip about the lady who kept to herself. Was the garden bewitched? Unwelcome visitors were turned to stone. Over time, everyone called her the Witch of Fox Point. Some people refer to me as a witch. I like that the best of all. Mary Knoll lives alone in her cottage on Lake Michigan. Despite the legend, she was never married. She never had children. Since her childhood, she has devoted her life to art. Now she is 86 years old. She designed her house and garden and turned everything into art. loved whatever material I was working with and been excited to see what I could do next, in, even in just the ribbons. Uh, I didn't think of hanging them in, in doorways for a long time. <laughs> and now I love them. Yeah. The light coming through there in the morning, is yeah. just, to me, is gorgeous. I'm strong in design, I think, and uh, I'm not realistic, and I think that sums up what I produce. Mary Knoll is counted among the outsider artist. She does not see herself in any art tradition. She's just working with whatever material is around creating the world with her imagination. Well, I've always been involved. I've always liked drawing much better than using words. When, I mean, in grade school is what I'm talking about. And then I took, in high school, I, I took as much art as they allowed me. And then I went to the School of the Chicago Art Institute for five years. And my last year I got my teaching degree. Before that I just got Bachelor of Fine Arts. Mary's first success was in a plane building contest in 1928 when she was 13 years old. She was the only participating girl and she won. She also built go-karts with her father's tools. Her father supported Mary in all her projects. In 1924, when Mary was 10 years old, her parents bought a piece of land on Lake Michigan. They were among the first to build a cottage on the north shore of Milwaukee. The family spent their weekend and summer holidays at Fox Point. Mary's childhood was safeguarded and happy. She had her own playhouse in the garden and carved her first wooden sculptures. 
Then she worked as an art teacher at the junior high school. Just a few years later, she gave up teaching and dedicated her life to creating art. I had a pottery for 10 years over on the Green Bay Road, mm -hmm. which was that? commercial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dad built me the, the, the pottery, and I, uh, I, it, I wasn't a huge seller or anything, but I had a bunch of fun. When her parents died in 1968, she inherited the cottage at Fox Point. She lived there year-round and started creating the first cement sculptures in the garden. And I wasn't dependent upon my income, so, because Dad left a heap. So, that's the whole story of, of doing it. I never could have made a living doing it, but I, but I could have a lot of fun. And the, well, now that, that, for instance, there's all the fun, little, little pieces, fun. Her age does not keep her from being creative. She still loves drawing. Every day she draws a few sketches. Everyone is unique. She has over 2,000 and collects 50 of each in numbered envelopes. My whole thinking is uh, draw what's inside. I mean. Pull it out any way you can get it out. Mary Knoll's greatest inspiration is the lake. On its shore, she finds the materials for her sculptures. Water, sand, stones, broken glass, and driftwood. During her life, Mary Knoll traveled through Europe and Egypt. She always had her sketchbook in hand. Her house tells the story of her life. She had the good fortune of being able to do what she loved most. Many rumors were spread about the old lady as more and more people moved into the neighborhood. They were suspicious of the chaotic cottage and garden. The old lady must be a witch. College students started to break into her garden as a test of courage on Halloween stealing parts of her sculptures. Many of the art pieces were destroyed by vandalism. In the end, Mary Knoll fenced in her garden with barbed wire, and she installed window grates to protect them from stones. But Mary Knoll also has guests who are most welcome. Every year visitors come, and art classes are inspired by her work. Oh, some liked it a lot, and some thought that I was known as the witch, and uh, but my uh, did, didn't interrupt my fun at all. So. Once upon a time, there was an old lady living happily in a cottage surrounded by an enchanted garden. She lived with all the mythical creatures that she had given life to. As a witch, she had the freedom to live in her own world. And her dreams were accompanied by the waves of the lake.